On this episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your FrameMeister to get the best possible picture out of the Sega Master System. Game systems like the Sega Master System are where the XRGB Mini really shines, and it won't take much to get your Master System games looking emulator sharp. First, you'll need a Model 1 Master System. From what I understand, the sleeker Model 2 units don't even have an AV port, let alone support for RGB without heavy modification. Next, you'll need an RGB SCART cable. I recommend using a cable with a separate composite sync line, rather than sync on composite. Per usual, I purchased mine from retrogamingcables.co.uk. You can buy these wired to the JP21 spec, which is ready to use with the FrameMeister, Otherwise, you can buy a European wired cable and use a mini DIN adapter for use with the mini. Again, the XRGB mini does a wonderful job with 240p sources like the Sega Master System, and out of the box, it will look pretty damn good. However, with just a few tweaks, we can make it look perfect. Make special note of the sync level setting, as my Master System flickers or won't display a picture at all unless set at 17. Also note, I use the Game 1 image mode instead of the usual picture mode to help eliminate some unwanted artifacts. With that, here are the settings that I use. One of the XRGB Mini strong points are its handling of 240p content over SCART and these settings should give you near emulation quality on the big screen. 